So hello everybody, my name is William Dunn. We're gonna be doing an interesting scene here. This is in Japan. This is the Ginza, the nightclub district. And it's generally crowded and lights and neon. It's just a crazy place. I have been there and I was just amazed at all the activity there. So this is a tricky thing because it's a night scene. So we're gonna attempt that and show you how that works. When I draw in watercolor, or for watercolor, I don't need to get too much detail because I can paint detail with the brush. Now I do want the big shapes because we always work from big shapes to small shapes. This little car we'll put right here. Cars are just a block, nearly a square, a little geometric shape. In this case, it's pretty dark. Can't see much. I'm looking down on them a little bit. There is some lane markers here. So I can go ahead and mark that off a little bit. So the other side of the street, something like this. Can exaggerate that perspective. That car is too far away. We got to get that closer. Okay, I can do that. Let's get this up. And over here, all these windows and everything, I don't need to draw those. The one thing I might draw before I get there this building has a big, long, vertical sign. Matsu Zakaya. Okay, so ever so quickly, I'm going to letter this and try to judge the distance. But I like to draw the outline letters. So the first decision I have to make it's just going to be wet on to wet, meaning wet paint on wet paper where everything spreads out and goes soft edge. Or do I want hard edges where I take wet paint and put it on dry paper? So I think I would like to go wet on wet. Here we go. I feel like I'm firing up a jet airplane and I'm going to be driving it now. I'm going to have to live with whatever happens here. It's going to take a little while for this to dry. So while that's happening, what I like to do, if I have, have to wait a little bit, <clears throat> I like to look at my painting, my photograph, and decide what am I really going to do here. So my plan is to have, once this is dried, if I put darks down now, they're just going to soften up and give me soft edges everywhere I don't want. So I want it to be bright colors with darks around it, because we have this dark night sky. I think we're ready for some lettering. Things are wet, I have to be real careful. I want a letter right there. I think the red here is gonna look good. And in lieu of putting my hand in my paint, the paintings, I'm gonna hold my hand up a little bit to give me some support. We're gonna go like this. 